Morning guys. So, it's now currently 16 weeks to my competition. So I'm sitting at around about 188 pounds, so that's 85 points in kilo. So I'm on track, nicely on track. Still haven't done cardio yet. Still keeping the calories roughly the same. Um, certain days I might change it, but it's going good. So I'm now gonna be hitting a back session with one of the guys who was also competing, but he's competing in, in an earlier show, his name's Scott. So I'm gonna get to the gym. I've had my pre-workout of I had porridge, but I had ready brick. So I had, pop your hair. So I had um, ready brick with, I made it with water because I didn't want to add it on the sugar from the milk. Um, I used some skinny syrups to add some sweetness without adding sugar. Um, 25 grams of peanut butter. Um, I had some calorie free chocolate syrup and then I had some mini Kit Kat peanut butter bite things which are fucking gorgeous, absolutely amazing. So if you've seen them about, pick them up, they're amazing. So um, the session today, what, what we're gonna do is focus on, sounds strange, we're not gonna focus on too much form. So what, what we're gonna do is try and overload the weight um, and get a decent sort of, a decent range of motion, but not too fo fo like focus on the strict form. So we're gonna try and just lift some heavy weight. It's not always advised, but every once in a while, it mixes it up and it's quite nice to do it. So yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of a back session. I'll try and record maybe a set um, of each one just to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, and that'll be it. So I'll see you guys when I get to the gym. <laughs> it's like a potion, isn't it? It's exactly like a potion. This is it. Mm -hmm.
pause in the top, so hold for a second as you squeeze it at the top. That's it. Right guys, so I've just finished the gym. Um, I am gonna snack, well I say snack, I'm gonna eat my meal of, it's a bit of a weird one today. Um, I've already sort of hit my protein, so what I'm gonna do is I got my bread order in. Oh, some hot, some challah, hot crust buns, and then I've got a whole meal loaf as well. Um, I'm probably just gonna have like hot crust buns and peanut butter or something. Um, but I've already hit my protein for today. I've got a fair bit of fats to use and a crap ton of carbs. Um, really good workout, so I'm gonna probably treat myself to that. Um, if you guys haven't already seen the perfect rise, um, the bread is absolutely fantastic. I'll try and put the website here, somewhere here, um, but give it a little look. Um, it goes from sort of your challah bread to your your wholemeal loaves, your, your sort of Ryan spout bread, which is really, really good for you, especially if you've got um, an intolerance or a slight intolerance to wheat. Um, I find it's really good for your stomach, really high in fiber, so it's really good. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm gonna cut this video, this bit of the video here. What I'm gonna do is tomorrow, or the next day, is give a little bit of, bit of talk a bit of a heart to heart with you guys um, about something which is on my mind. So, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Welcome back guys. So, I've got some notes and I'm gonna go through a few things. So, at the minute, I'm 15 weeks away from my competition. Um, I'm sitting at around about 85 to 86 kilos. I'm about 10 kilos, possibly, um, maybe a bit less away from stage weight. I'm consistently hitting my targets of what I need to do. So I said I was gonna lose about a pound and a bit a week. Consistently managed to do that over the course of, I think it's 10, 10 12 weeks now. So I was having a conversation today with one of my friends um, and they asked, how, how do you do it? How do you lose weight? How do you gain muscle? There's so many different answers to that, but there's only one problem, one simple answer. So to lose weight, you need to make sure that your output of calories is greater than your input. That is it, that, that is common sense. You could have, like I've said before, you could have a Big Mac a day, as long as it fits in with your calories, and you could lose weight. To gain muscle, to be in, you need to be in a calorie surplus. You need to have those extra, extra calories there, the excess of calories to build muscle, and to do that, you need to make sure that you're you're actually taking in more calories than you're burning off. So when you see people that you know eat a lot of calories and you know and people say it's a high metabolism, maybe it plays a bit of a part. But they're pro if they're eating three four thousand calories a day and they're not and they're not putting on weight. Granted, they are probably exerting over four thousand calories or just four thousand calories to maintain that weight. So the simple the simple factor is if you are exerting more calories than you're taking in, you will lose weight gradually. And that's and that is it. The three main rules: consistency, continuity, and control. So what I mean by that is consistency. So consistency is if you're going to go on a diet and it's going to be X, Y, and Z. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You're going to track your macros. You're going to whatever you're going to do. Be consistent about it. So don't do it for two months. See there's no progress, or see there's only limited progress, and quit. You need to do it consistently. You need to stick with it, and you need to do it over. A long period of time and I'm talking not talking these eight-week transformation things you see on Instagram or anything like that I'm talking months six seven eight months to see a really good change in your body and it'll be healthy you'll do it consistently you'll get into a routine and it'll become you'll get stronger you'll get fitter and you'll feel better so consistency continuity if you're gonna 
go on a healthy kick or you're gonna start the gym or you're gonna do whatever you wanna do, have some continuity in it. If you're gonna do a strict diet and you're gonna be, be cut out all the crap and you're gonna eat high protein meals, you're gonna have lots of veggies, you're gonna have lots of fruit, you're gonna have a good source of carbs and then your training is shit. That's not continuity. If you're gonna, if you're gonna eat well, train well and vice versa. If you, if, you, if you train like an absolute animal and you're there for two, three, four hours a day but then you come home and you smash your Domino's pizza, you're not going to get great results. You may get some results, you're not going to get great results. So the number one key on that is continuity across the board. Diet, if you're going to track your diet, workout, track your workouts, plan ahead, that is the key. Control. So with me, my control, everyone should have some control around their diet, around their, because if you don't have that control, then you're likely to binge. So my control is I used to binge eat. I'd go in, coming in from school or coming from college and I would just raid the cupboards. I'd have, and it sounds silly, I'd have cereal, crisps, sandwiches, whatever there was, I would raid. And I'm not talking, you know, your average size of portion size of cereal, 30 grams. I'm talking big, fucking huge bowl, probably in excess of 1200 calories. Never been to the gym, so, and didn't do much exercise. So that is just extra calories getting pounded in. So for me, what I had to control was my portions or my portion sizes. So the way I did that was from an early door is tracking my calories. So everyone knows that I weigh stuff and that I track stuff. That's because I have to have some control on it over it. Otherwise, I'm more likely to go, yeah, I'll have that or I'll have that, I'll have that. And then not realize until the end when I've towed it all up and gone, shit, I've had treble the amount I'm supposed to eat. Control doesn't have to be food, it can be your gym. But I think in the next coming weeks to really knuckle down, I'm gonna control my workouts and they're gonna be the same workout each and every week to stay consistent along the board. I can then see progress, I can then see you know, where my weaknesses are and improve on them. Because if I'm gonna be 100% accurate on my diet, why shouldn't I be 100% accurate while I'm in the gym. I'll see big improvement and then you guys can see the big improvements and maybe add that into your workout and see how you get on. Just remember, if, you, you know, if you're struggling with your diet at the minute or it's coming up to summer, so if you're really kicking it hard and trying to get that summer body, just remember C three C's. Consistency, continuity and control. If you can do that and get that in, f into your daily sort of life, be it business, be it gym, be it schoolwork, and you can keep all that together, you will succeed. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna leave the video here and I will try and do another one as soon as I can. I need to sort out getting a MacBook or a laptop to do some editing on. Once that's sorted, weekly update should be there. So, 15 weeks out, I'm gonna do a physique update soon once I sort of build up the confidence to do so, but I promise you I will do it. Um, I'll let you guys see where, where I was to how I am now, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please share and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, any comments you want, if of things you want to see or things that I can improve on, um, because this is what I love doing and it's it's a massive hobby and I want to you know give what I can do and hopefully to help you guys. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys in the next video.